Well, I guess you could say they done let the Jew on the canoe. Because today we are going to be talking about the Jewish mob. Isaac, look at them. Gorgeous, huh? Like condensed money. Isaac, these are great. Before I start this video, well, I'm going to just say don't do the whole Palestine versus Israel thing in my comment section. This ain't that, bro. This is just GTA lore. But that being said, assalamu alaikum to all the Muslims and shout out to all the Jews. A gang that was wiped out and pretty much forgotten. But at one point, the Jewish mob ran the city of liberty and the criminal underworld within. They were led by a man named Isaac Roth. Roth was born in Broker, Liberty City in 1976. At some point in his life, he would join the Jewish mob, which is made up of Hasidic and Orthodox Jews. They can be seen wearing black suits, carrying around guns, and wearing the Jewish cap. Posted up mobbing in Meadow Hills, Duke's Liberty City. His partner in crime would be his best friend, Maury Green. The two would become central members of the gang. Maury was born in Broker, Liberty City in 1955. But other than that, nothing else is really known about him. It's unknown when the Jewish mob started. But if they're anything like their real life counterpart, then they probably started during the late 19th and early 20th century. The Jewish mob started in New York City, which I guess we can all agree that Liberty City is based off New York City. No argument there. But back to GTA 4. Isaac Roth's main job was diamond dealing. This would keep the mob wealthy and help them expand their criminal operation, which led them to doing business with a man named Clyde Womb, which Clyde is one of the most mysterious characters in the GTA franchise. Not having a photo, but having a crazy ass backstory. Like, this dude is fucking nuts. Clyde was born in 1966 in an unknown African country. He is a warlord who arrived to Liberty City in order to purchase prostitutes, weapons, and fancy suits. By the year 2000, a 34 year old Clyde began dealing with diamond dealers, Isaac Roth and Maury Green. But unfortunately, he would be picked up and arrested for a clean diamond act violation. So pretty much, Clyde was the Jews African plug for them blood diamonds. However, he will be arrested again in 2002 for illegally possessing a gold plated rocket launcher. According to the LCPD, Clyde once hired out a whole hotel in opium nights just so he could walk to breakfast in the nude, swinging around his African dong. Clyde is also wanted by the CC for crimes against humanity. He's still in Liberty City and he's still alive. But other than that, that's pretty much it for Clyde. Roth will also have connections to the Pegarino crime family, mainly their capo, Ray Bacino. And let's just say Ray is no joke. Growing up in West Dyke, Alderney, with a rap sheet dating back to 1990. I gotta go, I gotta go. Nico, come on in. Okay. Where the fuck have you been? This is not the guy you wanna bump heads with, because Isaac Roth would enter a deal with Ray, which took place in the Libertorium. Isaac, Maury, and two others stood face to face with two men dealing for Ray, Johnny Klebitz and Nico Belli. Johnny Klebitz was born in 1974, an actor Alderney, and he would be of Jewish descent. But funny enough, he didn't join the Jewish mob. He would actually join a biker gang. He has an older brother who used to be friends with Billy Gray, but that was when Johnny was 10. His brother would go on to serve in Iraq and be a law-abiding citizen, while Johnny on the other hand took a turn for the worse, joining a biker gang and becoming one of the most criminal icons within Liberty City. Law enforcement reports indicate that the Lost has become significantly more active in recent months despite the gang's president Billy Gray serving a short time in court-mandated rehabilitation after numerous drug offenses. But now let's talk about Nico Bellic. Nico was born in Yugoslavia in 1978, he will grow up with an abusive alcoholic father who would beat his mother. They will live a very sad life with sometimes not even having the lights on and having nothing to eat. But he would eventually grow into a young man coming to the United States. Nico thought that he was coming to the American dream. However, it was far from that. Nico, it's Roman. Let's go bowling. Yeah! He just found himself in more violence and becoming one of the top hitmen within Liberty City, making a name within the criminal underworld from the East Coast to the West Coast, in which a lot of people would pull up his Life Invader account just to check him out. But let's get back to the dealer. While Maury Green was looking at the diamonds, Isaac, look 
Look at them. Gorgeous, huh? Like condensed money. Isaac, these are great. Luis Fernando Lopez would shoot Mori from a window overlooking the transaction, <laughs> killing him instantly. Isaac ran to Mori's side and would try to help him, but when he realized that he was dead, he would snatch up the diamonds and run away. Johnny Klebitz picked up the money and would make his way out. Luis would catch up with Isaac, knocking him out and taking the diamonds. Taking him to Tony Prince. Tony Prince was born in the Midwest in 1958, although he claims he was born in 1963 and grew up in Duke's Liberty City. And I don't even have enough time to really cover this guy, but let's just say he's a very interesting character. Listen, I love narcissism. I built a career on narcissism. I stare into the mirror and beat off like a real man. I pose, I preen, but there's a limit here. This whole situation was just one huge mess, and nobody could clean it up. Isaac thought that the ambush was set up by Ray and would threaten to have him killed. This basically just set off an entire war between the Italians and the Jews. Listen, dick, it's not my fault you got robbed. Not my fault. I had nothing to do with it. Nothing. You understand? I'm on a cell phone, you jerk. Oh, you want me killed? Oh, yeah? Screw you. I'm done with you. You understand? I'm finished. No, no, you know what? I ain't even started yet, you demon fuck. I'm in shit because of you, you piece of sh Hello? Hello? Uh, ah! And remember I said this is a guy that you don't want to piss off? Well, out of anger, Ray will hire Nico Bellic to kill Isaac at his base in the Majestic Hotel, which Nico will leave Isaac in cold blood. Boom! These were Isaac's last words. How do you murdering scum sleep at night? This whole event will cause the Jewish mob to fall and pretty much vanish out of Liberty City. And I think it's pretty crazy how something could have such a huge impact, but it is what it is. But here's some facts and history about the Jewish mob. As mentioned before, the Jewish mob in GTA 4 is based on the Jewish mob in New York City. They might also be based on the real life Jewish diamond dealers in New York City. Isaac Roth also is a reference to Hyman Roth, and Maury Green is believed to be based on Mo Green, which are two characters from the Jewish mob within the Godfather movies, and which will have the Italian mob and the Jewish mob. But that's all there really is about the kosher mob. Before I end the video, I just want to say I have a membership for one dollar, so you can buy me a coffee and uh, and I'll give you exclusive access to future content, topics, thumbnails, and more. Especially this banging on wax, families and ballers edition. So hey, you better jump on it, because if you don't, you're gonna be late and everybody gonna be like, You ain't listening to that new banging on wax? No, I don't have a dollar. Well damn, that shit fire. With that being said, this is your boy, LS Central. Check in. <laughs> Get homie a drink. You want a drink, homie? Who you represent? I'm from Grove Street. You know what this is. This a baller's car, man. What you gonna do about it, huh? Effers eat my leg, motherfuckers. Oh, no, no, no. Another wasted fool.